Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video we are discussing about the subject business statistics 1, unit number 3. So from unit number 3, ma, the total weightage is 16 marks weightage. There are only two topics for your final examination important. So first topic is arithmetic mean. Second topic is median. So when you are perfect with these two concepts of problematic, definitely you will be attempting one long question in your final examination. Okay. So along with that, it will be covered for the short questions also. So 12 marks long. 4 marks short. So, total 16 marks weightage. So, in this video, ma, the complete unit number 3 chapter we are discussing in business statistics. So, let's get into the video. So, first we will discuss the topic 1, arithmetic mean. In mean, you are having the 3 concepts, ma, like different 3 types. How many types you are having in mean? 3 types. What are that? Direct method, shortcut method, Step deviation method. See, in the question, if they have given the question and if they are asking you to calculate mean means, all three methods you need to do. Or else, if they are specifically saying calculate arithmetic mean in step deviation method, calculate arithmetic mean in direct method, if specifically if they are asking in the question means that time only, only that part you need to uh, calculate it. If not, all the three uh, methods you need to calculate it. Okay. So, what is the question I have taken here? Ma, make sure you write down. So, marks they have given 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and 40 to 50. Students 8, 10, 20, 40, and 25. So, we need to calculate arithmetic mean. So, now, this question I will do in arithmetic mean in all the three forms. Okay, direct method I will do, shortcut method I will do, step deviation method also I will do. When you are doing the same question in three methods, the final answer should get tallied. The final answer should be the same answer. Clear? So, we are doing now arithmetic mean in direct method. So, when you want to do arithmetic mean in direct method, in table you are having four columns. The first column is max which you are having in the question. Second column is frequency which you are having in the question. The next two columns are first one is midpoint, second one is fx. So, midpoint is considered as a x. So, what is the midpoint between max? So, 0 to 10 is midpoint is 5. 10 to 20 midpoint is 15, 20 to 20, 30 midpoint is 25, 30 to 40 midpoint is 35, 40 to 50 midpoint is 45. So, this is the midpoint values. So, this is the F value and midpoint is considered as a X. Next column is FX. Means simply we need to multiply it. Okay. So, 8 into 5 is 40. 5 is a 40. Next, 10 into 15. 10 into 15 is 150. Next, 20 into 25. 20 into 25 is 500. Next, 40 into 35. 40 into 35 is 1400. Okay. Next, 25 into 45. 25 into 45 is 1125. Okay, so like this you need to calculate the columns in the first method. After calculating everything, do the total of fx. Okay, do the total of fx. So fx total is 40 plus 150 plus 500 plus 1400 plus 1125. When you are adding everything, what is the final answer you are getting ma? 3215. So, sigma fx is 3, 2, 1, 5. Now, after getting the thing, we need to substitute in the formula. So, what is the formula of arithmetic mean in direct method? x bar is equal to sigma fx by n. So, this is the formula. So, x bar is equal to how much we got x bar? 3, 2, 1, 5, right? Divided by n is nothing about total of observations see total of frequency 
total of frequency you need to do this total n is equal to add everything so 8 plus 10 plus 20 sorry 8 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40 plus 25 so it is 103. So n is equal to 103. Fx we got 3 to 1 5. So 3 to 1 5 divided by 103. So x bar is equal to 3 to 1 5 divided by 103. If you are doing means 31.2. So x bar is equal to 31.2. So this is the final answer you are having. You are getting in direct method. In arithmetic mean the direct method calculation is this much okay in tables you will have four columns and after getting the fx and n you need to substitute in the formula next ma next you are having arithmetic mean in shortcut method arithmetic mean we are doing in shortcut method in this you will have five columns how many columns five columns what are that first one is marks which you are having in the question frequency which you are having in the question next column will be midpoint the next column will be dx after that fdx so what is the midpoint you are having 0 to 10 midpoint is 5 this is 15 this is 25 this is 35 this is 45 midpoint middle number middle number middle number middle number okay next dx so dx to calculate dx what we as the formula m minus a midpoint minus a you need to assume one value you need to assume one value in midpoint from 5 to 45 you can assume any one value see suppose i am assuming 5 anyway any time my suggestion will be assume least number so that you will not get negative values so what is the first midpoint you are having 5 what you have assumed 5 so 5 minus 5 0 15 minus 5 is 10 25 minus 5 is 20 35 minus 5 is 30 45 minus 5 is 40 from midpoint you need to assume one value and then you will you, will, you can easily calculate dx next uh, fdx that means f column and dx column you need to multiply okay f column and dx column so 8 into 0 is 0 10 into 10 is 100 okay 10 into 10 is 100 next 20 into 20 is 20 into 20 is 400 next 40 into 30 is 40 into 30 is 1200 25 into 40 is 25 into 40 is 1000 okay so this is the total calculation of the table so you need to calculate the total of n so n yes in the, the previous only we have calculated no so a total of n is 103 now just to calculate the fdx total so what is the fdx total 1000 plus 1200 plus 400 plus how much you are getting 2700 2700 you are getting ma okay so 2700 you are getting 2700 is the fdx and n is equal to 103 now i should write the formula of mean in shortcut method so x bar is equal to a plus sigma fdx by n so this is the formula of mean under shortcut method so what is the value you have assumed 5 we have assumed so 5 plus fdx is 2700 so 2700 divided by n is 103 okay so x bar is equal to 5 plus 2700 divided by 103 if you are doing means 26.2 okay so 5 plus 26.2 is x bar is equal to 5 plus 26.2 is 31.2 okay 
so this is the final answer in shortcut method in direct method also the answer is 31.2 in shortcut method also you are having the answer 31.2 like this the answer should get tallied now the third type in arithmetic mean we will do that is called step deviation method in step deviation method there are six columns the first column is marks second column is frequency marks and frequency is the question related third column will be midpoint fourth column will be dx fifth column will be dx sixth column will be fdx okay so what is the midpoint mark 0 to 10 midpoint is 5 10 to 20 midpoint is 15 25 35 45 so like this you need to calculate the midpoint so next d mark D, D you need to calculate. To calculate D, what is the formula? M minus A. From midpoint, assume any one value. See, here also I am assuming only 5. You can assume 15, 25, 35, your wish. But why I am assuming 5 only? Because it is the least number. So that we cannot get negative values. So midpoint is 5. Assumed is 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 15 minus 5 is 10. 25 minus 5 is 20. Here 30. Here 40. Okay, next to your column you are having dx. So, whatever the values you are getting here, you need to divide it by the interval. What is the difference you are having? 0 to 10, 10 to 20? 10, no. 10 is the difference. So, 0 divided by 10 is 0. 10 divided by 10. 10 divided by 10. 1. 20 divided by 10. 2. 30 divided by 10. 3. 40 divided by 10. 4. Like that you need to calculate it. Okay. After calculating. Next what you need to do. You need to do FDX. Okay. FDX. That means F into DX you need to do. F into DX you need to do it. Okay. So what is the F column you are having? 8. What is the DX column you are having? 0. So 8 into 0 is 0. 10 into 1 is 10. 20 into 2 is 40. 40 into 3 is 120. 25 into 4 is 100. So like that you need to calculate the table values. After that do the total of df, dx. Do the total of f. f is equal to n is equal to 103. So do the total of fdx. So 10 plus 40 plus 120 plus 100 it is nothing about the 270 so 270 will be your uh, fdx after that you need to write down in the formula so what is the mean formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma fdx divided by n into i this is the formula of step deviation method so what is the assumed value 5 is the assumed value fdx is 270 n is 103 i is 10 so difference is 10 so how you will calculate 5 plus 270 divided by 103 into 10 270 divided by 103 into 10 if you are doing means you will get 26.2 see here you will get 26.2 so 5 plus 26.2 is 31.2. So, this is the step deviation answer. See, the same question if you are doing in direct method, if you are doing in step deviation method, if you are doing in shortcut method, the final answer should get tallied like this. So, here also 31.2, in shortcut also 31.2, in direct also 31.2. Like this, if the answer is getting tallied in every type of under arithmetic mean means, you have done the answer in a correct way. This is the First topic which you are having in unit number 3. Most important topic also. Arithmetic mean. Okay. Now we will discuss the median. Topic number 2. Median ma. So see as you see in the question. They have given marks 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. And they have given frequency also. To do this median only you will have 3 columns in a table. 
the first two columns is the columns which they have given in the question marks column and frequency column the extra column is cumulative frequency how to do this cumulative frequency the first value should be written same so 15 you are having so 15 i am writing so 15 plus 20 so 15 plus 20 is equal to 35 35 plus 25 35 plus 25 is 60. Okay. See here. 35 plus 25 is 60. 60 plus 19 is 79. Okay. 60 plus 19 is 79. So, N if you are adding this also, you will get 79 only. Okay. After this, what we need to do? We need to write the median formula. So, write down the median formula. Ma. Median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus PCF divided by F into I. This is the formula. First, what we need to do? We need to do N divided by 2. So, N how much we have got? 79. So, 79 divided by 2 if you are doing means how much you are getting? Ma? 39.5. Yes. 39.5 you will get this 39.5 where you will check you will check in the cumulative frequency so check in the cumulative frequency where you will get 39.5 see in 60 you will get 39.5 no just underline this line so this you are having the median so here you will get in the 60s you will get 39 but in 50 35 will not get 39 no so here you will get so, in this line, the first value will become L. The first value will become L. And this is F. And the upper value, the highest value, upper value e will become PCF. This is the rule of the median. Now, all the values got this substitute in the formula. So, median is equal to L is 20 plus N by 2. How much we have got? 39.5. Okay, what is the PCF we have got? Minus 35 divided by what is the F25? Okay, into 10 because I is 10, difference is 10. So, how you should calculate it ma? M is equal to 20 plus 39.5 minus 5. It is nothing about the 34.5 divided by 25 into 10. Okay. Like this you need to calculate it. Next again. M is equal to 20 plus 34.5 divided by 25 is 1.38 into 10. Okay. Now what we need to do? 20 plus 1.38 into 10. 1.38 into 10 if you are doing means 13.8 you will get. So M is equal to 20 plus 30.8 is 33.8 so this is the formula and this is the final answer of median clear so simply we need to substitute in the formula okay so calculation is must and should every step is easy every formula is easy most of the students will get confused in the calculation only so that's why you need to use the calculator while preparing only because in your examination centers you will not face much difficulties if you are using since if you are using it from now onwards okay so calculation how you are doing is very much important so this is the only concepts you are having in unit number three ma. so if you are having any doubt you can let me know in the comment section this notes pdf is available in our telegram group telegram group link is given in the description box and my instagram dm you can dm me in my instagram if you are having any doubts all the links also i have mentioned in the description box okay all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation. See you all in next video. Bye bye students.